This will be my impression of Joe Swatson. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Get some! Get some! Get! Hey, Peter. Hey. What's up you guys? Why is it every time I say what's up you guys I do this? I, I don't get what I'm doing. Am I like shooting you guys? Like pew 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 No, I usually do not talk about topics like this because one, I mean, I don't like negative energy flowing in the air and making it stank like mustard sauce on a hot dog in July. I don't know where that came from, but you get where I'm coming from. But I think something needs to be said because this is the stupidest thing I have ever heard. Now by stupid, I am not talking about the fans or the players. I am talking about him and his girlfriend. Yes, his girlfriend. Because after listening to their tape, their phone call, whatever, I'm just like, what the hell is going on? Like. It's just so stupid. Now, if you guys do not know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about Donald Sterling having an argument over the phone with his girlfriend about why she was taking Instagram pictures with Magic Johnson. Now, the reason why Donald was so mad at his girlfriend for taking the picture with Magic Johnson is because he didn't want her taking pictures with African Americans. Now, when I heard this before, I didn't really care because directly, like directly towards me, this was not coming at me. It was really coming at all of us, but not directly at me. So that's the only reason why I was not that, you know, thinking about it that much. I wasn't really that pissed. But then I heard the phone conversation that they had, and I listened to the whole, what was it, 9, 18 minutes, and I'm all like, oh my gosh, this is just so dumb. Now before when I heard about this, I really wasn't concerned about it. I really wasn't thinking about it until someone brought it up, because the only reason why I wasn't that pissed it's because it wasn't really directed towards me, it was directed towards my race. I mean, yeah, that kind of ticked me off a little bit, but I had, like, work in school, so, like, why do I care about what this one guy says? But a lot of people are like, yo, go check out the phone conversation on YouTube and see what they're talking about. And I'm all like, nah, nah, nah. And they're like, man, go do it. And I'm like, nah, nah. Okay, I'll do it. Now, throughout the whole recording, it was just so, just... It's the dumbest conversation you have ever heard. A racist, dumb, ignorant, belittling conversation that didn't really go anywhere. I I was just done with the whole situation. Now the first thing that really pisses me off about this conversation is that one, she kept on like apologizing. Like she would get mad at him and try to get at him, but overall she was apologizing after everything she said. Why the hell would you apologize to a man who does not like black people when you are half Mexican, half black. Now, the second thing that made me mad in the conversation was that this dude, I could have sworn he said, Babe, I want you to just like try and just be fully Mexican. Like, I want you to take away the other half of you, that black side of you, because you know, I don't like it. How the flip a japper are you supposed to like just take away half of your DNA? That does not make any sense. Like, uh, uh. No, I don't know what new science you have, but you can't do that. Now, besides her, him saying he wants her to take half of herself and be just like fully Mexican or like not be black, he had the audacity and the stupidity to say, I don't like minorities. Fool! She is Mexican and black. You can't get any more minority in that situation, like, at all. That's all minority right there. And over and over and over again, she's all like, Honey, sweetie, babe, I'm so sorry. I love ya. Oh my gosh, that girl needs Jesus. She needs Jesus. Mm -hmm. Or me. Either way. Now when you get deeper and deeper into the conversation, this dude actually said, like, I, I remember it like so clearly. You can talk to black people all you want. You can chill with them in parties, you can tweet them, you can do whatever, you can have sex with them, you can take them to your house, but just do not take a picture with any black guy on Instagram. Now I don't know if he was all there when he said that, but basically what he said was, he gave every black person, like, Unlimited access on that papa on her panana. Well, 
that wraps up another crazy and insane video of yours truly, the Reddit Truth. On that, I'll see you guys later. Let the truth be told. Peace! And I'm out.